welcome, welcome spring. The wheel turns again, everyone. It's Druid Jess here, and taking the video for me today is my husband Peter. He is, the, he is, he, he's here, and we are going. We're sending you all on this blessed spring equinox Sabbath. It is Ostera. Ostera takes place between March 20th and March 23rd. And on the spring equinox, as I said, it is the rebirth of the earth. Everything starts to sprout. The weather starts to get warmer. My father-in-law even saw the first robin. Yay. <laughs> yep, see, there's Peter. And uh, everyone's excited about that. When the robins return, that's a pretty good sign that spring has sprung. So what I'm going to do for you all today is on this uh, Sabbath, I am going to do an austere reading so that we can see what's going to come up in this new season. So here is a nice and easy austere spread for you. I'm going to start at the bottom here. Here we have the King of Wands. You've sown the seed of a new vision, a new venture, entrepreneurial thoughts, new adventures await, new things change. It's a beautiful thing. Life does not come without a little bit of risk. Sometimes you gotta jump. Now, in order to water what you have sown so that it will hopefully be cultivated and grow, you need to make sure you use your knowledge and your intellect and think clearly about what you are going to do. If you don't, things may not turn out the way you want. So always think clearly and think and see both sides of the equation and then make a choice that's best for you. Now, how is it going to bloom? With up here, with the Three of Swords, if you don't have that balance, and you don't have that balance of communication, it's not going to happen. Make sure all your swords are, and your T's and your I's crossed, dotted, balanced. As you can see, the owls and the raven are balancing the sword. Balance it with good communication, and it'll start to grow. As you can see, the, dawn, the, the, the sun is shining, birds are coming. But if you don't communicate, it's not going to happen. Communication is key in all ventures. Now, over here, follow my little finger over, the, over to the Four of Wands. What do you need to get rid of in order to make sure that your venture is going to turn, blossom and grow properly? is to get rid of your instability in your life. Balance your home life and your work life. Maintain that balance. Work stays at work, home stays at home. Two separate entities. Sometimes they just don't mesh well together. So maintain that balance. And what do you need to embrace at the end of this? To make sure everything grows and blossoms the way you need to? We come over here to the right to the Queen of Cups. Your intuition and your compassion. Use your ability to figure out what is right and what is wrong. And make the correct choices. Because when you make the correct choices, your cup will overflow. So basically, the ideal and the theme for Ostera, maintain your balance, maintain your communication. And the seeds that you wish to grow will bloom and your cup will overflow. Balance and communication and using your head. That's the theme of Ostera. I think that's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty common sense if you ask me. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Well, everyone, I hope you have a safe and happy Ostera. Enjoy the upcoming new weather and enjoy the new 
blooms and birds that come back to bring the sweetness of life back into the world. I will see you all another time. It's Drew and Jess and my husband Peter. Have a blessed Ostera. Blessed be.